Hello and welcome to Autocar India's Quick News. Now this week, before we give you all those latest launches and all those hot news bits that we have for you, let's quickly have a look at the sales figures for May 2019. And yes, sadly, it's been another dismal month for the Indian auto industry. In fact, the drop in percentage of sales as compared to May 2018 is the biggest it's been in the last 18 years. And that's definitely a very, very worrying fact. In total, all vehicle sales in India dropped 8.62% in May 2019 as compared to the same month last year. The biggest jolt was felt by the passenger vehicle segment that includes cars, vans and UVs with a drop of 20.55%. In comparison, two-wheeler segments saw a drop in sales of 6.73%. The automotive industry has been struggling since late last year with poor sales mainly attributed to the growing price of fuel, lack of liquidity, the low by elections and the upcoming changing norms. Considering the fact that the automotive industry is one of the biggest contributors to the country's economy, the government must step in soon with incentives that will help automakers and NBFCs in this time of crisis in order to avoid a complete meltdown. Now before we go any further, do remember to hit that subscribe button and the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest uploads. Now unlike every week where there are a fair few launches in the four-wheeler space, this time around there's only one and it's not really a new car launch. It's more of a price update and sadly for you customers, it's a price update in the upward direction. Tata has changed the prices on the Harrier. All those variants get a price bump. The Tata Harrier was launched earlier this year in January and now the automaker has hiked prices throughout the model range by a uniform 30,000 rupees. The Harrier is still available in four variants and remains unchanged in terms of features. The engine remains a 2-litre turbo diesel with 140 horsepower and 350 Nm of torque with a 6-speed manual and an automatic gearbox and a petrol version is in the works. That said, with the price announcement of the MG Hector just around the corner, it will be interesting to see how the increase in prices will affect sales of the Harrier. Just like with the cars this week, the bike space has been a little quiet too. But there's been one launch which is, well, very literally red hot. Ducati India has launched the Hypermotard 950, replacing the older Hypermotard 939. The new bike is priced at 11,99,000 rupees ex showroom, making it about 82,000 rupees more expensive than the outgoing model. The new 950 makes 4 more horsepower and 1 more Newton meter of torque, making it a grand total of 114 horsepower and 96 Newton meters. The bike is also a little lighter by a few kilos and also gets cornering ABS, making it much faster and safer. As per a recent study, Mumbai is the most congested city in the world when it comes to traffic conditions and well, I can personally vouch for that on my way to work every day. That said, uh, traffic in every city in India is getting a little out of hand and automatic cars are getting more and more popular and to sort of get along with that trend, Mahindra is about to launch the automatic or AMT version of its XUV300. Let's have a look at those details. The XUV300 diesel will get a new Magneti Marelli sourced AMT unit on the same 6-speed manual gearbox that the car currently has. The new AMT option should be priced at a premium of about 50,000 rupees more than the standard and will help take on the likes of the Maruti Suzuki Vitara Brezza and the Tata Nexon, both of which also have a diesel AMT option in their lineup. In comparison, popular cars like the Ford EcoSport and the newly launched Hyundai Venue only get a petrol automatic option. Now every week we have a lot of SUV news and this week is no different. We have some more news from Citroen. Now we've already told you about the C5 Aircross which will come in next year and the year after that 2021 is when Citroen will launch its compact SUV based on the C3 Aircross to take on the likes of the Maruti Suzuki Vitara Brezza and of course that newly launched Hyundai Venue. And now we have some exclusive news on their third offering for India. Citroen's third SUV for India will be launched in 2022 and will be a Creta rival and will be loosely based on the C4 Cactus. As with other SUVs in Citroen's lineup, this one will have high levels of localization and will have a 1.2 litre petrol and a 1.5 litre diesel engine. There's also a possibility of a hybrid powertrain option to meet the RDE or real world driving emission tests that come into effect in India in 2023. This new Citroen SUV will not only have competition from the Creta, which will already be updated by 2022, but will also take on the likes of the Kia Seltos due for a launch very soon, Tata's Blackbird SUV and the upcoming SUV that is being co-developed by Mahindra and Ford. All in all, this segment is certainly one to watch out for. And in even more SUV news, there's a brand new SUV offering from Mercedes-Benz. It slots in between the GLA and the GLC and it's called, unsurprisingly, the GLB. 
The new GLB, which has been internationally showcased, is an SUV that sticks to the typically upright SUV body language to the T. A butch front end, squared off fenders and a very rugged stance makes this 5 or 7 seater SUV quite the looker. The GLB is longer and taller, albeit narrower, than the more expensive GLC. The SUV gets a base model 1.33 litre turbocharged 4 cylinder petrol engine along with a larger and more powerful 2 litre petrol and diesel option. The GLB also gets optional 4MATIC all wheel drive, optional off road engineering package including a multi beam LED headlamp, hill assistance, and an additional off road driving mode. AMG models with the 35 and 45 lineup are slated for next year. And now on to some two wheeler news. Now, India, of course, is on the verge of those BS6 norms kicking in on April the 1st, 2020. And uh, beating them all to the line, Hero Motor Corp has showcased India's very first BS6 certified two wheeler. The Hero Splendor I Smart is the first motorcycle in the country to receive the type approval certificate from the International Centre for Automotive Technology or ICAT after it successfully tested for compliance for BS6. Updates on the bike include a closed loop catalytic converter, electronic fuel injection and an ECU with a lambda or an O2 sensor. Hero has not yet announced when they will launch the bike in India just yet. And just a couple of days hot on the heels of Hero Motor Corp is Honda's first BS6 offering. It's of course the Activa, which now gets a whole bunch of updates under the skin and of course a design update too. The all new Activa 125 now features the company's PGM FI or programmed fuel injection along with a new starter motor that is much quieter than the one on the current Activa. It also features a new start stop system. Apart from the mechanical updates, the Activa will also feature a new instrument cluster, a new front end with LED headlamps, and finally an external fuel cap. Honda will launch the new scooter in India in September 2019. Now this is not something that happens on the news every week. We have a brand new two-wheeler manufacturer that is just entering India. They are called 22 Kimco and they have some very, very interesting scooters lined up for all the enthusiasts in India. 22 Kimco have revealed three new scooters in India. One of the models is the updated iFlow electric scooter which will be priced at about 90,000 rupees while the other two, which are petrol powered, the Like 200 and the X-Town 300i will be priced at about 1 lakh 30,000 and 2 lakh 30,000 rupees. The scooters will go on sale in India in September 2019. And for more information on all of these, make sure you check out our first look video right here on our YouTube channel. And that's all we have for you this week. Do remember to drop a comment and tell us what you felt about all those new cars and bikes coming in. Of course, those new launches, including that update on the prices. Thank you so much for watching and see you again next week.